would have been involved in agriculture forever. It's just how we recognize, how we talk about it, how we appreciate, how we value their contributions. It is not something that's new. Today, 30% of American farmers are women, and about half of agriculture firm employees are women. But they still have extremely low rates of farm ownership, corporate board memberships, and policy-making positions. On February 8, 2016, more than 100 women from 13 states gathered at the University of Georgia to discuss leadership roles for women in agriculture at the inaugural Southern Region Women's Agricultural Leadership Summit. Their goal was simple, to find ways to support female leaders in the ag sector. We have voices, we have loud voices. We're making the decisions for our own families. What is more important than that? Making sure they're also heard as we're talking about policies and decisions that elected officials recognize the role that we play, that we're serving on boards and commissions and county committees, that we are in that short list for CEO and Dean and actually getting chosen. Summit delegates identified three major needs. A need for more support among peers. We don't do enough to support each other. If you've ever noticed men at the table, at a conference table, and somebody will raise a point and the guys will go, oh, good idea, Joe, good idea, Bill. Okay, how many women go, hey, Nancy, great idea. You've got to, you've got to express those things and you have to be supportive of each other. We need to embrace each other, we need to help each other, to encourage each other to make sure that we recognize them, we encourage them, and make sure that they happen. A need for more formal mentoring. We can do it if we help each other, empower each other. And a need for women to take up leadership roles they have not traditionally been offered. When a door opens, we don't have to wait for someone to push us through the door. You can step through the door. You are the architect of your future. It's very important that we believe in ourselves, that we believe in ourselves enough to speak up. We believe in ourselves enough to go when no one else is going to go, and we believe in ourselves enough to do when no one else is going to do. Leadership is not something that somebody appoints you to. If you wait for an opportunity to step into leadership, and you wait for somebody to appoint you, you may be waiting a long time. The Southern Region Women's Agricultural Leadership Summit's organizing committee will publish the report from the summit. To read the full report and to find out more about how you can support women in agriculture, visit www.womeninag.caes.uga.edu.